Hey everybody, it's Millie and you are here at Crafting in My PJs. Welcome. Today we're going to do a simple craft. It's going to involve mostly items from Dollar Tree and the other items that I'm using happen to come from the junk drawer at our house. So hopefully you'll have some junk drawer items as well. All right, so if you are new to this channel, my channel is dedicated to simple, easy crafts that anybody can do, regardless of artistic talent. Um, you too can do this, along with some Dollar Tree items. A lot of times my supplies come from Dollar Tree. So we're going to make a tray today. I'm keeping everything natural wood, but if you would like, you can definitely paint or stain or decoupage material or Easter designs. I truly, I'm mimicking something I saw in a gift shop and it was definitely out of natural wood. There was no paint or decoration involved and it was very simple and it was very lovely. So the first thing I have here is this wall plaque from Dollar Tree. It is um, on the $5 rack and it's a nice thickness, maybe half an inch, I guess, or maybe not a half an inch, less than half an inch, but a nice thickness. It also has two pieces of wood down here which since we're not making a plaque with it, we're making a tree, a uh, tree, a tray. This will be our feet on our tray. And the first thing we're gonna do here is take off this hanger. I'm also gonna see how easy I can pry off, I don't know, these nails, these uh, staples. All right, so while I'm taking off the staples here, uh, if you are new to our channel, if you are a new visitor, thank you for coming. And if you are a returning friend, again, thank you for coming back. Uh, as always, we ask you to give this video a thumbs up. Um, and if you are not a subscriber, to subscribe to our channel because, you know, that's always fun. All right, so I was able to work these staples out with a flathead screwdriver, which is really good because I am, um, I don't have great uh, flexibility or strength in my hands. And so, um, there we go. Let's put it aside. My desk is so full of trash right now. I've not trash, crafts. So, um, I need to do this video so I can clear my desk off. All right, so we have the tag off, we have the hangers off. I did measure and put about a half an inch in from either side, exactly in the middle of the short ends, I put a dot. And the other items we're using for this video besides this plaque is three bags of these Crafter Square natural wooden beads. So the natural ones, not painted, and some twine. Oh, here's my twine. Hold on. Some twine. This I already had in my stash, but I have seen it at Dollar Tree at different times. And, oh, this was in the junk drawer. Two of these knobs. Now, I have lost <laughs> the screws that go with the knobs. And so these are temporary because they have this black casing on them. I don't know where these go to. I'm sure they go to something important. Um, but also, if you don't want to fool around with drilling a hole, we could just glue these on, which is what we might do right now. We might just glue these on until... I decide I can get some appropriate screws that fit. Well, I have the E6000 out. I have my hot glue gun heating up. The E6000 is gonna give us the permanent adhesion and the glue gun is gonna give us that temporary adhesion. All right, so what I did was I took 33 beads. Now, let me tell you, um, 
this tray is 14 by 10. So 10 by 14. I think it would be a great tray in your living area or kitchen area or breakfast area to display things on or even to functionally use as say a to put drinks on or coffee i think it'd be great at a coffee bar with your coffee items that would be really nice all right so we know that our knobs are going to go right there and i'm going to glue that on in a minute and I, all right so i strung all told 66 beads 33 are going to go on one side and they're going to stop right by the the um the knob and then 33 are going to go on the other side and again they're going to stop so i did put them i strung them on twine can because can you imagine trying to do individual beads and if anything comes unglued they're all together so you're not gonna you're not gonna lose it it's not gonna go um twirling around on your floor also by stringing them we make sure that our holes are semi-hidden so you can kind of push on that and get that so that's this is what it's going to look like just like that isn't that cute? And even like that. All right. So, just a simple beaded, wooden beaded tray. So, I'm going to run a thin line. Um, the E6000 is going to give us our permanent adhesion. And when it works, it works. We are not going to come to the point there. We're going to follow around. It's approximately a half an inch. If you're nervous about drawing this line, and there's something in my glue right there. If you're nervous, draw a line with a pencil and you can follow that. All right, so I'm just coming around, keeping approximately a half an inch, not going for this swoop. And coming around there there we go all right we're gonna leave this right here because we're gonna we're gonna use it to attach our knobs so we're gonna need that e6000 all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my hot glue to this to give me like an instant an instant um, adhesion and like I told you it was 33 beads I have a few extra so I can always come back and I can always add some beads if I feel like it's not enough. Alright, so I'm glad I'm glad we used the, the clear E6000 because um I'm not sure if the that white one I have if it literally dries clear. I really don't know. I mean I've used it on projects but um nothing i couldn't i could see it so i was sitting i was thinking about that, that up. and so we're just coming around and gluing on i did think that it might be fun to mod podge some material literally just inside before you put your beads on just inside here and then you could you could pick a really pretty fabric that matches what decor you're going with you could pick an easter fabric if you want this to be an easter decoration 
here we go. See, I'm going to pull this tight. Here we go. All right. I might need one more bead there. I'll see how it looks when I add my knobs. It might be one more bead. It might, I don't know. Yeah, one more bead. So it might be 34 on each side. All right, so let's let's do this side. And I want my E6000 to completely dry on me. Ow, hot glue. And I am trying to put them close enough together that you do not see the uh, holes, but you are going to get a little bit of that, especially on the curves. You're going to see those holes. So let's see how if I need that extra bead on here. Uh, yeah, I do. So it's really 34 beads. All right, so we're going to put one more on either side. Let me untie. And let me string. We'll do the top one first since the E6000 has been sitting the longest on that one. Let me add some hot glue on. Oh, oh, there we go. So I, I, I spent the weekend or well, Sunday with my my niece and nephew uh, in another city and um, we went shopping and you know window shopping more than anything but in like vintage stores and um, old town gift stores so like in the uh, historic district of their town. Uh, I see I'm not too sure. Well, I might need some more glue there. Oh, 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 where'd it go? There it is. This one. And that's, I was kind of scoping out what, what was being sold and uh, what people, you know, could possibly be buying. And, and in order to make some gifts using my Dollar Tree items. All right, so let's add up because we're almost done here. Now, you could absolutely, absolutely, maybe I should go ahead and drill my hole now because I do have, I do have my drill ready to go. You could absolutely attach your knobs with, of course, your screw, um, if you know where yours are. I have my handy dandy screw gun that I got from for free from Timu. Right there you go. I have my holes. My holes drilled in there. All right. And I think I knocked. Yeah, one of them doesn't seem very tight. Let's, uh, let's add a little bit more glue. All right. So let's see. I'm going to use a wet wipe on this tube because it's, it's slimy. Now, if you don't like the twine, you could remove that at this point because it's, you know, just sitting in there. Oh, Lord, help us. Okay, hold on. It is just sitting inside the beads. I just think it's going to give you some stability of one of the beads loosens. You're not going to be searching for it on the floor. It'll kind of be hung there. All right, so if and when I find my... Ooh, that one's spread. Let's clean that up quickly. There we go. All right, so my plan was to keep 
my edges here, my little twine edges, and to just tie a cute little bow. Let's do it this way so it's flat. Like that. Could also pull some ribbon in instead of the twine. Um, my twine does not be sit, does not seem to be sitting flat over there. I might actually use some hot glue to just pop it down a little bit. Maybe if I tie the right way. Oh, there. Okay, there we go. All right, all right. There we go. There we go. There's our. There's our wooden tray. Isn't that adorable? All right, let me give you a little further a distance view. Look how cute. So, tray $5, three bags of this, $3.75, that's $8.75. Twine I already had at the house in my stash. Um, and knobs were in the junk drawer in the kitchen. And so, again, I'm not counting those. But, you know, a couple of dollars if you purchase at uh, a discount store and isn't that cute doesn't that look very springy so that's going to go on my buffet to mainly to display things on all right thanks guys for joining and again remember like if you like this video subscribe if you're not a subscriber and y'all have a wonderful day bye